today my video will be on yodes. Yodes are sometimes called the finger of God. Um, I have a yode in my chart. Uh, it's two sextile planets in two different houses with an inconjunct planet as the third. And these can fall in any one of the houses depending on your sole purpose. With the picture that I have included on the video, it shows Saturn and Scorpio and Pluto and Sun and Capricorn. Well, Pluto and Sun and Capricorn are sextile to each other. Well, Sun in Capricorn is sextile to Gemini. But Saturn in Scorpio and Scorpio in general is in conjunct or they just don't really understand each other to Scorpio and Gemini. It work how do I put it? It puts an emphasis on making you push through uncomfortable situations. If you have an in conjunct in your chart it will help you well it'll aggravate you at first for a very long time it will aggravate you because you can't get past it and you will keep attracting people in your life with these inconjunctions and me for instance I'm a Gemini and I'm in conjunct to Scorpio but my whole chart is my second dominant planet it's Pluto, go figure. So, I mean, I understand Scorpio. I mean, of course, I'm not a Scorpio, of course. But what I'm saying is, and everybody that I seem to attract at certain periods in my life and certain transits go back to Scorpio. The ode, it can make a very powerful mystic force in your chart. It can make an event, well, it can transcend an event. And it can be a block that you have to work through. Like I was saying before, it's a block that you have to work through. And once that you get it, you will master it and you will understand it way better. Um, it's usually something hidden that needs to be brought to the surface that's maybe old karma from a past life. Maybe it's a soul lesson that you didn't learn that you need to learn in this lifetime. To move forward um, it's very spiritual it will bring the person who has a yoda very spiritual experience they will be drawn to it over and over and over again and I'm not necessarily talking about like religion I mean religion could be in that but I mean they can be spiritual religious no religion it can make them where they're just they're they feel like they have to be in tune to a higher power but not necessarily in the the technical sense of it and it depends on what house that it falls into depends on what it's going to affect if it fall if the ode falls into the first house it's going to affect who you are as the world sees you second it's going to be on how you uh, see yourself with money your image the way you feel about money the way you feel about your image third house is going to be communication, how you communicate with others, and so on. Um, signs that form a yod to each other. Aries, Virgo, and Scorpio. Taurus, Libra, and Sagittarius. Gemini, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Cancer, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Leo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Virgo, Aquarius and Aries, Libra, Pisces and Taurus, Scorpio, Aries and Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus and Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini and Leo, Aquarius, Cancer and Virgo, Pisces, Leo and Libra. I hope that you appreciated this video. I will have more on aspects later on, and if you have any questions, just leave your questions below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability, 
and I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you.